The temperature has dropped. It's cold and freezing outside. Now the question is, is your fragrance wardrobe ready to cut the cold? Ladies and gents, if you're new here, my name is Joanna and I do reviews and recommendations of affordable and luxury fragrances in my channel. Welcome. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for all your support. Now, as you saw in the title, I will be talking about heavy hitters. These for me are something I will only use in this specific time of the year. Not only they smell intoxicating, but they also have amazing longevity and powerful projection. I'm not the type who prefers beast mode fragrances to use on a daily basis. However, during the winter time, this is my jam. Without further ado, let's get this video started. I have two designer fragrances here and I'm gonna start off with an oldie but a goodie Mon Guerlain Intense EDP. This to me is a lifer in the winter time. Mm. It has lavender, vanilla, licorice, and patchouli that are very prominent to my nose. It is very elegant and sexy at the same time. A fragrance of a wife material. As mentioned, it has a very prominent lavender. However, it doesn't smell masculine at all. It is perfectly balanced with the licorice, vanilla, sandalwood, and musk in the base. It ended up smelling aromatic yet powdery. It is so beautiful, guys. One of my favorite designer fragrances. And this is something that... I will always have in my collection. Yeah, this is Mon Guerlain Intense EDP. Next up is um, YSL Lib Le Parfum. This fragrance is known as a boss babe scent because it is. It has ginger, saffron, and honey that made it stand out amongst the other designer fragrances for me. Mm. This is another lifer. It is sexy, it is dark, it is warm, and I just cannot live without this in the winter time. For me, not just because it's a boss babe scent, this is like my easy reach grab and go kind of fragrance in the winter. Um, definitely projects, definitely gives me an instant confidence. I love this one. Now, this has a very prominent orange blossom as well, but it won't bother you. Trust me, because I'm not a fan of orange blossom as well. And this one is a lifer for me. As mentioned, the ginger and the saffron in here are the standout notes to my nose while the orange blossom is just in the background. Highly recommend YSL Lib Le Parfum. It is also during this season when I feel like wearing incense vanillas, okay? And I have here three incense vanillas that to me are standouts. And I'm gonna start off with um, Vanna Gloria by Laboratorio Olfativa. For sure, you've heard about this perfume as very similar to YSL Baby Cat. And I must say that, yes, they're very similar. However, for me, I prefer this one more. Baby Cat, to me, is just too instancy. While this one is very balanced. Let's say the vanilla is stronger here than the incense. To me, this is modern incense and vanilla fragrance that smells very intoxicating. Hmm. This one has saffron note as well. So to me, it is edgy, sensual, and sexy as well. Um, I 
love this fragrance especially in the dry down this smells very intoxicating definitely a winter staple very addictive and yummy but not gourmand i love this one because it gives me that very mild waft of sweetness throughout the day um highly recommend you checking this one out if you love baby cat and you prefer a more vanillic um take of baby cat so that is Vana Gloria by Laboratorio Olfativo. Another incense vanilla is my winter fragrance favorite. And this is Material by Amwaj. If you're watching my channel, you know how much I love this one. This is basically the serious version of Vana Gloria. Um, if Vanna Gloria is like modern and edgy, material is the richer and slightly more mature sister of Vanna Gloria. I love this one. Another lifer for me. If I have to choose only one winter fragrance, this will be it. If you're watching my channel, you know that this is one of my top 10 for life i love the opulent and luxurious feel of this fragrance the elemi in the opening just gave this fragrance a different hit to me it's ambery it's incensey and intoxicating vanilla i know a lot of people compare this to grand Soi, but in my humble opinion material is still in a different level this is just sensual and refined, ambery, incense vanilla that smells like a first-class passenger. Yeah, that's how I'm going to describe this. I actually discovered this from a first-class passenger when I was still working in first class in my previous airline. Um, so I will never forget about this fragrance uh, material by Amwaj. If you want to smell like opulent, sensual, and luxurious this winter time. The next fragrance is still an intensive vanilla. However, this one is heavier in incense. And it's the kind of incense that will really give you that oomph, you know, something that will make you feel luxurious and confident and this is called incense swap by matier premier guys this fragrance is an incense bomb mm. if you love incense you have to check this one out the kind of incense in here is like the incense that you normally smell in the church however not just in a normal church like in a cathedral let's say you know the kind of incense that you smell in a beautiful cathedral in europe wow this is wow factor to me it has a coffee note as well that i think cut that strong incense so it won't be like just too much incense blast to your nose and it's just done so well come on it is of course it's a matière premiere fragrance so it is very very refined and high i can really tell that this has very high quality ingredients as well actually there are only five notes listed in this fragrance um they are coffee incense vanilla benzoin and labdanum and you guys i smell all of those notes definitely so good it has a slight sweetness that is coming from the labdanum it's it's perfection i i love this fragrance probably the best incensey fragrance that i've ever tried um, and I must say that I've tried a lot. Um, it's just that in here, I love how the coffee 
fits through so that incense note is not really striking my nose highly recommend this such a comforting and inviting scent very dry incense vanilla lightly sweetened by labdanum this is perfection my favorite incense perfume so far um yeah that is incense suave by Mathieu premier oh, the next one is also a staple in my collection and this is oud saffron by orientica um last year it was shag of oud but anyway they are similar extremely similar that i know i don't need both and since they are the same i just decided to go for oud saffron just because i love the bottle more if you don't know what this smells like this is basically lancome's oud bouquet dupe done to perfection or let's say even better it is that very famous rose oud saffron and praline combo that is to die for i love wearing this perfume in the winter time uh, because where i live nobody nobody wears this kind of perfume and this always gets compliments but i also love wearing this perfume because i'm slightly reminded of dubai as well so yeah we'll always have this um oud saffron by orientica next up is my favorite montals fragrance and this is arabian tonka i only take this one out in the winter time for a reason this is a tonka and sugar bomb mm, that is so warm and intoxicating mm, i love it um but to be honest with you i love layering this one as well i layer it with anything that doesn't last that long like for example uh kayali love fest burning cherry <gasps> guys those two together are heaven however i'm not saying that this cannot be used by itself this is a very good standalone fragrance as well and what can i say if you love sugary tonka and saffron this is a must try this one is a bomb you will definitely be smelled i highly recommend this a very good base layering scent um yeah arabian tonka by montal last but not the least guys is my newest discovery and i must say that i was blown away with this one it is not really expensive and this is called lord of misro by lush have you guys tried this one out i suggest you to go to lush and just try this one and let me know okay because i was surprised by how intoxicating and potent this fragrance is wow 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 this is very heavy in patchouli though and i'm not the biggest fan of patchouli however there is something in here that is calling my name it is very dark and sensual it is peppery slightly animalic ambery vanilla that is to die for oh my god um guys guys please just visit your nearest lush store and yeah let me know how you feel about this um i'm just shocked by how good this fragrance is and i'm shocked as well how much i love it considering that this is a patchouli bomb and oh my very very addictive guys um see the color of the juice that is the vibe of this fragrance okay peppery 
animalic ambery vanilla that is to die for and i'm telling you this one definitely lasts and cuts through the cold lord of misrule by lush so that is the video for today guys i hope that you enjoyed and by the way i didn't include any gourmand fragrances yet in this video as i'm planning to do a separate video that is just for winter gourmands so um yeah these ones are winter staples now i want to know what are your winter staples or you know something you know that will cut through the cold let me know in the comments down below as you know that i am always fascinated by your recommendations and trust me you give me the best perfume recommendations i hope that you all have a lovely weekend by the time that this video gets uploaded it's december already and yeah bye and see you in my next one